As the sun dips below the horizon, casting shadows that dance with ancient wisdom, we embark on a grand odyssey through the pages of Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius, a philosopher-emperor, once articulated that true power resides in the mastery of our minds, not external events. In the undulating sea of human emotions, Stoicism stands as an anchor, a timeless philosophy offering profound lessons on navigating life's storms with unwavering resolve. Join us on this epic journey as we unravel the tapestry of 12 essential Stoic lessons, each a beacon of clarity guiding us through the labyrinth of existence. Lesson number one, understand what's in your control. Imagine meticulously planning an outdoor event, only for unexpected rain to play the role of an uninvited guest. Stoicism introduces the dichotomy of control, a principle articulated by Epictetus. Some things are in our control and others not. This profound lesson encourages us to channel our energies towards what we can influence and embrace with equanimity what lies beyond our grasp. Navigating life's stormy seas with calmness, adjusting our sails when we can't control the winds, becomes the essence of this stoic wisdom. In the eloquent words of Seneca, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Lesson number two, reflect before reacting. In a world that celebrates instant responses, Stoicism invites us to dance with the art of reflection. Seneca astutely observes, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This lesson urges us to pause and ponder before reacting to life's myriad decisions. Picture a moment when a colleague questions your work or a friend makes an offhand comment. Instead of diving headfirst into an emotional whirlpool, take a step back. Reflect, don't suppress. This practice becomes a cornerstone in relationships, a tool for understanding oneself and others. As we navigate life's turbulent waters, reflection emerges as a powerful act of rebellion against the currents of immediacy. Lesson number three, practice dispassion. In a world akin to an emotional roller coaster, the stoic lesson of practicing dispassion emerges as a transformative tool. Imagine observing life's events and emotions with the same detachment as watching a gripping movie. Seneca aptly notes, he who fears death will never do anything worth of a man who is alive. Dispassion doesn't mean suppressing emotions, it's about cultivating a balanced perspective, a calm amidst the storm. This approach becomes a lifeline in an age of information overload allowing us to engage with the world sustainably. In relationships, dispassion fosters effective communication, understanding, and grace in the face of conflicts. Lesson number four, ask yourself, will this matter in five years? Life is a tapestry woven with moments that test our patience, resilience, and perspective. Enter the mental time machine with Marcus Aurelius's question, will this matter in five years? Suddenly, the challenges of today transform into forgotten footnotes in the grand narrative of our lives. As Seneca wisely reflects, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. This question serves as a guide, assisting in prioritizing concerns and distinguishing between short-term setbacks and long-term implications. It's not about minimizing concerns, but directing our energy toward what truly matters. Lesson number five, keep a stoic journal. As the ancients kept scrolls of wisdom, imagine Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor, unraveling the threads of his thoughts in a personal journal known as meditations. The stoic journal is more than a record. It's a dialogue with oneself. As Marcus Aurelius reflects, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, the Stoic Journal becomes a grounding ritual, offering profound insights into our psyche, patterns of reactions, and a roadmap for personal growth. It's a commitment to self-discovery and understanding, echoing the sentiments of a wise friend always ready to listen. Lesson number six. See obstacles as opportunities. Life, much like a labyrinth, is rife with challenges. Stoicism offers a potent lens, see obstacles as opportunities. Picture a river encountering a boulder. Instead of halting, 
it finds a way around. Marcus Aurelius encapsulates this idea. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Challenges, once viewed as setbacks, become valuable lessons on the path to growth. A job loss may lead to a new career, a chance to upskill, or the opportunity to embark on an entrepreneurial journey. This stoic perspective fosters resilience, adaptability, and a positive outlook in the face of adversity. Lesson number seven, practice gratitude. In the vast tapestry of human emotions, gratitude stands as a golden thread. Epictetus wisely asserts, he is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not but rejoices for those which he has. Stoicism advocates for the deliberate practice of gratitude, a ritual of anchoring oneself in the present and appreciating life's blessings. It goes beyond a mere thank you. It's a deep acknowledgement of the forces, moments, and individuals that enrich our lives. Gratitude becomes a counterbalance to the human tendency to focus on lacks and uncertainties. By shifting our focus to what we have, we foster contentment, reduce envy, and enhance overall well-being. Lesson number eight, embrace change and impermanence. In the grand tapestry of existence, change is the only constant. The Stoics understood this fundamental truth and implore us to embrace it. Imagine a river that never flows, stagnating under the weight of resistance. Similarly, embracing change allows us to flow through the currents of life. As Heraclitus, a precursor to Stoicism, mused, the only constant in life is change. Stoicism encourages us to understand the impermanence of external events, urging us to focus on enduring values and internal qualities that would stand the test of time. In the words of, Seneca, he suffers more than necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. Lesson number nine, cultivate inner strength. The Stoics envisioned a fortress of inner strength that could withstand the storms of life. Seneca aptly remarked, it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Cultivating inner strength involves fortifying our minds against the onslaught of external circumstances. Picture a resilient tree weathering the fiercest storms, its roots anchored deep within the earth. Similarly, Stoicism teaches us to nurture our inner strength, building resilience and endurance. The challenges we face, rather than breaking us, become opportunities to showcase our indomitable spirit. As we stand at the crossroads of ancient wisdom and modern existence, these Stoic lessons echo through the corridors of time. With around 2,000 words, we've embarked on a journey that transcends epics, unraveling the fabric of Stoicism, a philosophy that remains relevant in the kaleidoscope of human experience. How will you weave these Stoic teachings into the intricate tapestry of your life? Share your reflections and experiences in the comments below, and let the pursuit of wisdom be the guiding star in the constellation of your existence. Stay curious, stay grounded, and never cease seeking the profound truths that shape our shared journey.